सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर फिफ्टीन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्राफ्स फ्रॉम पेज नंबर टू थर्टी वन टू पेज नंबर टू फोर्टी एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर फिफ्टीन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्राफ्स पेज नंबर टू थर्टी वन फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन हैव यू ऑब्जर्वड क्राफ्ट इन द न्यूज पेपर्स टेलीविजन मैगजीन बुक्स एक्सेट्रा द पर्पज ऑफ द क्राफ इज टू शो न्यूमेरिकल फैक्ट्स इन विजुअल फॉर्म सो दैट दे कैन बी अंडरस्टूड क्विकली इजीली एंड क्लियरली दस graphs are visual representations of data collected data can also be presented in the form of a table however a graphical presentation is easier to understand this is true in particular when there is a trend or comparison to be shown we have already observed some types of graphs let us quickly recall them here 15.1.1 a bar graph a bar graph is used to show comparison among categories it may consist of two or more parallel vertical or horizontal bars rectangles the bar graph in figure 15.1 shows anu's mathematics marks in the three terminal examination it helps you to compare her performance easily she has shown good progress figure 15.1 here we have a bar graph on x axis we have the term on y axis we have marks in mathematics from 0 to 50 at intervals of 10 in first term she got 25 marks second term 30 marks third term 45 marks bar graphs can also have double bars as in figure 15.2 this graph gives a comparative account of sales in rupees of various fruits over a two day period how is figure 15.2 different from figure 15.1 discuss with your friends page number 232 figure 15.2 here we have a graph on the x axis we have fruits on the y axis we have sales in kg from 0 to 40 at intervals of 5 darker shade of gray represents monday lighter shade of gray represents tuesday mango sold 17.5 kg on monday and 22.5 kg on tuesday apple sold 7.5 kg on monday and 10 kg on tuesday orange is sold 27.5 kg on monday and 35 kg on tuesday papaya sold the same 22.5 kg on both monday and tuesday banana sold 32.5 kg on monday and 27.5 kg on tuesday 15.1.2 a pie graph or a circle graph a pie graph is used to compare parts of a whole the circle represents the whole figure 15.3 is a pie graph it shows the percentage of viewers watching different types of tv channels figure 15.3 here we have a pie graph entertainment is 50% sports is 25% news is 15% and informative is 10% 15.1.3 a histogram a histogram is a bar graph that shows data intervals it has adjacent bars over the intervals page number 233 the histogram in figure 15.4 illustrates the distribution of weight in kg of 40 persons of a locality here we have a table with two rows 
The first row represents weights in kg. Second row represents number of persons. 40 to 45 kg is 4 persons. 45 to 50 kg is 12 persons. 50 to 55 kgs is 13 persons. 55 to 60 kgs is 6 persons. And 60 to 65 kgs is 5 persons. Figure 15.4 Here we have a graph. On the y axis, we have number of persons. On the x axis, we have weight in kg. The number of persons goes from 0 to 14 at an interval of 2. The weight goes from 0 to 70. Initially from 0 to 40, there is a jagged line and after 40, there is an interval of 5. In figure 15.4, a jagged line has been used along horizontal line to indicate we are not showing numbers between 0 and 40. After this, the data in the table has been represented in the graph with the help of bars. There are no gaps between bars because there are no gaps between the intervals. What is the information that you gather from this histogram? Try to list them out. 15.1.4 A line graph A line graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time. When Renu fell sick, her doctor maintained a record of her body temperature taken every 4 hours. It was in the form of a graph. You can observe in figure 15.5 and figure 15.6. We may call this a time temperature graph. It is pictorial representation of the following data given in tabular form. Here, we have a table with two rows. Row 1 tells us the time. Row 2 tells us the temperature in degrees Celsius. 6 a.m. 37 degrees Celsius. 10 a.m. 40 degrees Celsius. 2 p.m. 38 degrees Celsius. 6 p.m. 35 degrees Celsius. The horizontal line, usually called the x axis, shows the timings at which the temperatures were recorded. What are labeled on the vertical line, usually called the y-axis. Page number 234 Figure 15.5 Each piece of data above is shown by a point on the square grid. Here we have a graph. X-axis represents time. Y-axis represents temperature in degrees Celsius. There is a jagged line on y-axis. After that we have values from 30 till 42 at intervals of 2. On the x-axis, we have 4 times given. 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. The above data has been plotted in the form of dots on this graph. Figure 15.6 We have the same graph here and the dots have now been connected to represent the data we discussed in the table. What all does this graph tell you? For example, you can observe the pattern of temperature more at 10 am, observe figure 15.5 and then decreasing till 6 pm. Notice that the temperature increased by 3 degrees Celsius is equal to 40 degrees Celsius minus 37 degrees Celsius during the period 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. There was no recording of temperature at 8 a.m. However, the graph suggests that it was more than 37 degrees Celsius. How? Example 1. A graph on performance. The given graph in figure 15.7 represents the total runs scored by two batsmen A and B during each of the 10 different matches in the year 2007. Study the graph and answer the following questions. 1. 
what information is given on the two axes. 2. Which line shows the runs scored by batsman A? 3. Were the runs scored by them same in any match in 2007? If so, in which match? 4. Among the two batsmen, who is steadier? How do you judge it? Solution 1. The horizontal axis or the x-axis indicates the matches played during the year 2007. The vertical axis or the y-axis represents the total runs scored in each match. 2. The dotted line represents the runs scored by batsman A. This is already indicated at the top of the graph. Page number 235 3. During the fourth match, both have scored the same number of 60 runs. This is indicated by the point at which both graphs meet. 4. Batsman A has one great peak but many deep valleys. He does not appear to be consistent. B, on the other hand, has never scored below a total of 40 runs, even though his highest score is only 100 in comparison to 115 of A. Also, A has scored a 0 in 2 matches and in a total of 5 matches, he has scored less than 40 runs. Since A has a lot of ups and downs, B is more consistent and reliable batsman. Figure 15.7 Here we have a graph. X-axis represents matches. Y-axis represents runs scored. On X-axis we have values from 0 to 10 at intervals of 1. On the Y-axis we have values from 0 to 120 at intervals of 10. Dotted line represents batsman A. Bold line represents batsman B. In the first match, batsman A scored 20 runs, batsman B scored 60 runs. Second match, batsman A 115 runs, batsman B 40 runs. Third match, batsman A 0 runs, batsman B 50 runs. Fourth match, batsman A 60 runs. Batsman B 60 runs. Fifth match Batsman A 20 runs. Batsman B 45 runs. Sixth match Batsman A 90 runs. Batsman B 45 runs. Seventh match Batsman A 35 runs. Batsman B 100 runs. Eighth match Batsman A has scored 75 runs, batsman B, 60 runs. Ninth match, batsman A, 0 runs, batsman B, 50 runs. Tenth match, batsman A, 45 runs, batsman B, 55 runs. Example 2. The given graph in figure 15.8 describes the distances of a car from a city P at different times when it is travelling from city P to city Q, which are 350 kilometers apart. Study the graph and answer the following. 1. What information is given on the two axes? 2. From where and when did the car begin its journey? 3. How far did the car go in the first hour? 4. How far did the car go? During 1, the second hour, 2, the third hour. 5. Was the speed same during the first 3 hours? How do you know it? 6. Did the car stop for some duration at any place? Justify your answer. 7. When did the car reach City Q? Figure 15.8. Here we have a graph. On the x axis, we have time from 0 till 3 pm. There is a jagged line between 0 and 8 am. On the y axis, we have distance from p in kilometers. 
it is from 0 to 350 at an interval of 50. At 8 a.m., it's 0. 9 a.m., 50 km. 10 a.m., 150 km. 11 a.m., 200 km. 12 noon, 200 km. And at 2 p.m., it's 350 km. Page number 236. Solution 1. The horizontal x-axis shows the time. The vertical y-axis shows the distance of the car from city P. 2. The car started from city P at 8 a.m. 3. The car travelled 50 km during the first hour. This can be observed as follows. At 8 a.m., it just started from city P. At 9 a.m., it was at the 50th kilometer. You can observe this in the graph. Hence, during the one hour time between 8 am and 9 am, the car travelled 50 km. 4. The distance covered by the car during A. The second hour, that is, from 9 am to 10 am, is 100 km, 150 minus 50. B. The third hour, that is, from 10 am to 11 am, is 50 km, 200 minus 150. 5. From the answers to questions 3 and 4, we find that the speed of the car was not the same all the time. In fact, the graph illustrates how the speed varied. 6. We find that the car was 200 km away from city P when the time was 11 am and also at 12 noon. This shows that the car did not travel during the interval 11 am to 12 noon. The horizontal line segment representing travel during this period is illustrative of this fact. 7. The car reached City Q at 2 pm. Exercise 15.1 1. The following graph represents the temperature of a patient in hospital recorded every hour. A. What was the patient's temperature at 1 p.m.? B. When was the patient's temperature 38.5 degrees Celsius? Here we have a graph. On the x-axis we have time from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. On the y-axis we have temperature from 34 degrees Celsius to 39 degrees Celsius. There is a jagged line before 34 degrees Celsius. At 9 a.m. temperature is 35.5, 10 a.m. it is 36, 11 a.m. it is 39, 12 noon it is 38.5, 1 p.m. it is 36.5, 2 p.m. it is 36.5 and 3 p.m. it is 37. Page number 237. C. The patient's temperature was the same two times during the period given. What were these two times? D. What was the temperature at 1.30 pm? How did you arrive at your answer? E. During which periods did the patient's temperature showed an upward trend? 2. The following graph shows the yearly sales figures for a manufacturing company. A. What were the sales in 1, 2002, 2, 2006? B. What were the sales in 1, 2003, 2, 2005? C. Compute the difference between the sales in 2002 and 2006. D. In which year was there the greatest difference between the sales as compared to its previous year. Here we have a graph. On the x-axis we have years from 2002 to 2006. On the y-axis we have sales in rupees crores from 0 to 12. In 2002 it was 4 crore. In 2003 it was 7 crore. 2004 6 crore. 2005 10 crore. 2006, 8 crore. 3. 
For an experiment in botany, two different plants, plant A and plant B, were grown under similar laboratory conditions. Their heights were measured at the end of each week for three weeks. The results are given in the following graph. We have a graph given here. The y-axis represents height in centimeter from 0 to 14. The x-axis represents weeks from start to 3. Dotted line represents plant A and straight line represents plant B. At start, the height of both the plants is same. By the end of first week, plant A is 2 cm and plant B is 1 cm. By the end of second week, both the plants are of the same height, that is 7 cm. By the end of the third week, plant A is 9 cm and plant B is 10 cm. Dotted line represents plant A and bold line represents plant B. Page number 238 A. How high was plant A after 1, 2 weeks, 2, 3 weeks? B. How high was plant B after 1, 2 weeks, 2, 3 weeks? C. How much did plant A grow during the third week? D. How much did plant B grow from the end of the second week to the end of the third week? E. During which week did plant A grow most? F. During which week did plant B grow least? G. Were the two plants of the same height during any week shown here? Specify. 4. The following graph represents the temperature forecast and the actual temperature for each day of a week. A. On which days was the forecast temperature the same as the actual temperature? B. What was the maximum forecast temperature during the week? C. What was the minimum actual temperature during the week? D. On which day did the actual temperature differ the most from the forecast temperature? We have a graph given here. The y-axis represents temperature in degrees Celsius from 0 to 35. The x-axis represents the days from Monday to Sunday. Dotted line represents forecast and straight line represents actual. On Monday, forecasted temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and actual temperature is 17.5 degrees Celsius. On Tuesday, both the temperatures are same, 20 degrees Celsius. On Wednesday, the forecast is 25 degrees and actual is 30 degrees. On Thursday, the forecast is 22.5 degrees and actual is 15 degrees. On Friday, both the temperatures are same at 15 degrees Celsius. On Saturday, the forecast is 30 degrees and the actual temperature is 25 degrees. On Sunday, both the temperatures are same, 35 degrees Celsius. 5. Use the tables below to draw linear graphs. A. The number of days a hillside city received snow in different years. Here, we have a table with two rows. In the first row we have year, in the second row we have days. 2003, 8 days. 2004, 10 days. 2005, 5 days. 2006, 12 days. B. Population in thousands of men and women in a village in different years. Here, we have a table with three rows. In the first row, we have year. In the second row, we have number of men. In the third row, we have number of women. 2003, 12 men, 11.3 women. 2004, 12.5 men, 11.9 women. 
2005, 13 men, 13 women. 2006, 13.2 men, 13.6 women. 2007, 13.5 men, 12.8 women. Page number 239. 6. A courier person cycles from a town to a neighboring suburban area to deliver a parcel to a merchant. His distance from the town at different times is given in the following graph. A. What is the scale taken for the time axis? B. How much time did the person take for the travel? C. How far is the place of the merchant from the town? D. Did the person stop on his way? Explain. E. During which period did he ride fastest? Here we have a graph. On x-axis we have time from 8 a.m. to 12 noon at an interval of 1 hour. On the y-axis we have distance in kilometer from 0 to 22 at an interval of 2. 7. Can there be a time temperature graph as follows? Justify your answer. 1. Here we have a graph with temperature on y-axis, time on x-axis. A straight line originating from the origin divides the graph in two parts. 2. Here we have the same graph. The line has now been inverted. It begins from almost the top in y-axis and goes till almost the bottom in x-axis. 3. Here we have the same graph. But the line is now a straight line parallel to the y-axis. 4. Here we have the same graph. The line we have here is a straight line parallel to the x-axis. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India